feel like you're going back to, as a school teacher at the moment, the way that you yeah, it's been different. Um, I think certainly felt like I was going back to uni and having to read up on the new protocols and guidelines. Um, but we know how important it is for us to be able to get back and play and train. Um, and there is an expectation for us to be able to lead the way in the way that we conduct ourselves. So it's been an interesting couple of weeks. Um, but it's been fun as well. I think uh, the guys have obviously appreciated so the, the lengths that the football club and the AFL and the government have gone to be able to keep them safe and healthy. So um, it's been a bit of a challenge, and uh, yes, I do feel like I'm a bit of a school teacher again, but it's been good. What, what, sort, of, what sort of stuff's a challenge? Um, I think it's just a new way of living. I don't necessarily think that anything we're asking the players to do um, is out of the norm or, or out of. Um, the necessity to be able to keep them healthy, but it's just um, it's a new way of living. Uh, it's going to take time to for players and staff to be able to adapt. And um, my role is to be able just to be able to ensure that they continue to remember what they need to do and um, and the and the guidelines that have been put in place by the AFI and the government. How was it that you ended up being the mayor? Uh, well, obviously it was. Um, with my background as, as a teacher, it probably made sense to be able to put me into this role, to be able to educate the players and, and keep them up to speed. We don't necessarily see it as a police officer role. It's more an education role to be able to um, give the guys the knowledge to be able to um, understand why they need to do these things to be able to keep themselves he healthy. And on the flip side, my, see my um, SNFL role has been put on the back burner for this year and um, I've been able to have a little bit of extra time to be able to include my development role of our younger guys and also this role as well. I was going to say, without the, the COVID officer role, the Magpies on the back burner, where would that have left you personally? Yeah, so we've got all our development coaches back at the moment. Um, obviously, I think I play an important role still in regards to the AFL program in, in ensuring that our um, younger players in particular develop and grow and be ready to play AFL footy. So that hasn't changed at all. Um, it's obviously just the night stuff with the sample program that I don't have anymore and it's given me a little bit of extra time to be able to do this role. On that development, without the, the sample this year, do you, do you fear for the development of some of the younger boys you might have had or how do you feel about their years going forward? Year no, certainly not. Um, obviously it would be ideal that they are able to play in a second tier competition, um, but the fact that they're not, we can still develop them. Um, we've got a fantastic fantastic development group at the moment uh, with Tyson, Chad, Trent Henshaw, myself, Jeff Morris. Um, so to be able to still develop them during the week is really important to their development and we can spend some extra time. We don't have to worry about uh, doing less during the week to get them fresh for games. We can actually push them to their limits and, and improve them in the areas that they need to improve in. What does a typical day look for you in this COVID It's long. Um, I try and beat the players in every morning. Um, we go to great lengths, which you can see here behind, of being able to space them out in between drills. Uh, we separate them through change rooms. We temperature check them uh, and assess them when they come into the footy club in the morning. So we're really mindful that the health and safety of our playing group is really important. Um, and yes, it has been long hours for, for our staff, but that's to ensure that we're, we're able to keep playing and training and, um, and get our season underway. Yeah, a lot of it, and we've made the approach that it's not, just not my job as well. So we, uh, we've put some things in place to be able to educate all our staff. Um, so I'm not the one yelling and screaming at the players to, to make sure that they're adhering to the guidelines. So um, we've taken that all staff and all players approach to be able to keep everyone healthy. Uh, but yeah, it has been long days. Like, can you just um, because you've got a beautiful face? I, I just want you to sort of look more, yeah, like more, look more, <laughs> more. Perfect, right I can do that. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> so now, now I can be the officer. Done. <laughs> so you do, in respect to that, I mean, the AFL wanted every club to have one of these officers. So are you ultimately. Yeah, certainly. I think um, it's an important part of my role. We have a number of meetings in regards to um, our protocols. You got you got to remember that no one knows the real answer to this at the moment. I think um, we are thinking on our feet a little bit. There's a lot of guidelines, a lot of protocols, and at the end of the day, we just want to keep everyone safe, safe and health and healthy. So. Um, 
yes, it is my responsibility, but as I said before, it's also a, a whole club approach. And, and it's not just our football department, it's affected our admin department as well. Um, it's everyone's responsibility to keep everyone safe. Uh, so that we can get back and play football. Manny, good to see Robbie. I know he's only walking laps out there, but looks like his condition has improved over the past few days. Yeah, I think so. I think Robbie's going to be doing some running today, and um, we're certainly hopeful. We're still two weeks out from from round two, um, so we're certainly hoping that he'll be right to play and, and ready to go. And I guess one of the other ones is with um, COVID. I'm sure it's the same for modern teams, but it should hopefully mean Charlie, Ollie, and Hamish are all fit to go for that round two showdown. Yeah, certainly. I think that's probably a little bit of the unknown is that we've still got two weeks. This is only we've only had one real full session um, of match play and contact. So, you know, fingers crossed a little bit that we get through the next couple of weeks um, fit and healthy. And yeah, it has given I suppose those guys that you mentioned the opportunity to be able to have some extra training and some time to get over their injuries. Obviously, um, no Maggie's in the sample this year, which is disappointing. But um, with the prison bar currency, it's talk it might get pushed back later in the year. You know, because there won't be a crowd at the show now. Got a thought? Would you still like to see him in the showdown, or you don't? Um, oh, look! I grew up a Port Adelaide supporter. Um, the prison bars is a huge part of our tradition, and I'm sure every Port Adelaide supporter, at some stage, wants um, everyone to or see our team in the prison bars. So, you know, that's for the footy club to sort out. Keith and, and Chris um, are doing a lot of work to try and, you know, it's our 150th year. We want to um, certainly honour our history and our tradition and whether that means that we're wearing you know the prison bars or not um, Tom will tell us those um, I think it's probably he's probably in that case of getting back to training um, he's had a little bit of a body awareness I think he's just a little bit sore so we know we've got two weeks to get him right um, but no he's just a bit sore at the moment. Does that come down to him being just a big man? Yeah he's a big man off than some of the other boys, or? Different type of training, um, getting back into full training. I think you'll find that we'll have to manage a lot of our players over the next couple of weeks and, and the previous week as well. So um, we're not over concerned with Scotty. He'll take it easy. He's out there running laps at the moment um, and I'm sure he'll be right in, in a couple of weeks' time. So overall, how the guys respond to the contact training? The same the injuries this week across the board? Or? Yeah, they love it. Um, I think today we'll certainly give them another big whack of training um, in regards to contact, but um, the bo that's why boys play footy. They love the contact, they love the um, combative nature of our game, and um, as a coaching group, we're really excited to be able to get them back into that training and get them conditioned ready to play. Um, Oh, I don't think there's any one thing in particular. From an administration point of view, it's been having to retrain my um, my mind and my knowledge in regards to keeping everyone uh, safe and healthy. Um, but from the players' point of view, they're really receptive to what we're doing. Uh, they, yes, they do need to be reminded every now and then um, of the things that they need to adhere to, but generally they're pretty good. Um, given that you answered the AFL, I was going to let something go through on. A little, a little bit of nervousness undertaking uh, Certainly, I think um, there's nervousness about everything. Um, at the end of the day, we want to keep everyone healthy and safe um, so that one, we can return back to training and work, but also so we can get back playing. So I guess there is a sense of nervousness as well. Um, I'm really confident that the protocols that the, the government, the AFL and the football club have put into place um, will allow us to be safe and healthy. And, and if um, at the worst case scenario, someone does come down um, sick with the virus that we can continue to play. I think um, we've put a lot of things in place to stop the, the crossover between players and groups and small training groups. So um, I'm confident in the protocols that we put in place that we can continue to play and, and keep as many pe people um, safe and healthy as we can. Has that been stressed as like the goal of this, that, that if somebody does come down, we don't want to shut down the entire season? Yeah, certainly. I think everyone wants to um, see footy back playing and um, um, if if something does happen, the worst case scenario does happen, hopefully we can continue to keep playing.